Hi, and welcome to this Flex Mail demonstration. Here we will talk about how to create a message and your layout using the Builder tool. The Builder tool is an easy drag and drop where you can make your layout stand out by using different structures and elements. Let me show you. First, select campaigns, create a new message, and make sure that you select Smart Builder to create this message. Name your message so you can easily find it back with all your messages. And then there's two ways to do this. You can either start from scratch and select no template, or you can choose one of our many templates that we've already created for you to make it much easier for you to work and start creating your message. We'll select this template, save it, and you'll be redirected to our builder tool. Here you will see that you can have the full overview of your template or your message that will be created. Within the body, you can do lots of different things. It's a general layout that you can see. One of the things that you can do is change your color of your background or your message background to match your branding. You can also put a hex code if you have a specific color in mind. So we choose this, then let's use and see how we can do structures and elements to create the message that you want it to be. Click on the structure tab. Here we will we'll have predefined structures or empty structures. The predefined structures you can see here, which is the text, image, button, or even a few spacers if you would like more space in between the different structures. The empty ones, you can select yourself what you would like it to have. Let me show you. So let's select this text. We can just drag and drop wherever we want and easily edit it, let's say, hi, welcome to FlexMail. Let's keep it easy. This is a predefined structure for text. Not only do we wanna say hi, but it's always nice to make it a little bit more personal. So you can also add your placeholder. So let's say first name, and then it will appear with your contact whenever you send it. And I'll show you in the preview how this will look. Let me show you your empty structures and what you can do. You have different kinds of columns. So you have the two columns and how it will appear on your phone, which is always a good way to see what you would like to come first if they're scrolling through their phone. But let's start with the three columns. And I'm just gonna drag and drop it underneath to show you. Right now it's empty. So what do we do? We go to element tab and select the element that we would like to add. So let's select for this one, a text on the left side, easy enough. Maybe a button to link to your form or a survey. I'll show you how this will work later. And then we can add our social media links, which is very important that you could also share your contact that you've created on your Facebook or Instagram. So here, same thing, you can easily create, let's say register for our event. I'm gonna show you how to link the form in a button. So let's do that. Then we want the button to actually go through the form. So if they link on it, they will get the form that I chose. Not only you can link the form, but you can of course change the word in your button over here. That should be enough, right? And then of course your social media links, you can at your URL here or change in settings so you have a preset of these different social media properties. Okay, so now I guided you 
through the elements, the structures. We even made a personalization right here in the text. But you could also do dynamic contact. With the contact, the dynamic content is actually created for you to decide what content contact should get which content. So let's say this picture. I don't want everybody to see this picture. So I click on the cartwheel. I click on visible for, and then we select the triggers on who should be able to see this picture. So I'm gonna click on the preference of fashion. So they should be having this preference in their contact information. So I'm gonna save it. Right now, you still see your full message. You can also do this with languages and lots of different ways. So I'm gonna show you how it will see on the preview. In the preview, you'll be able to see how your contact will see your message. You can also send yourself a preview so you can get it into your inbox and see how it will appear. So right now, let's see how our message looks. So we have indeed the personalization with the first name. We have this, but the picture does not show. So why? It's because we only wanted people with the preference of fashion to see it. And here you can see the preview for this and the dynamic content. So this is an easy way for you to create a message for a different target group, for example, and not create a whole new message with the same layout, which is a little of a difference. So that's it, an easy drag and drop smart builder where you can create lots of different things, lots of different layouts. If you do want more information, we do have the support tab right here where you can click on and you'll be redirected to our manual. Our manual is an easy way for you to find more information and a step-by-step -step guide. For example, create a message with our smart builder. Here you will see there's a step-by-step, -step, even screenshots on how to create different ways of the smart builder. Of course, we've already seen the basics, but you can go more in depth with that. If you do have more questions, please let us know. We will be happy to help you. FlexMail team is always here to support you and see how we can create your messages and improve every time. Or if you're interested in having a training with us, we also do that to go more in depth and show you a little bit more strategy and work more on how to create your messages in the best way to get a better click ratio. Well, thank you very much, and I wish you a great day. I will keep in touch. Bye.